Hi, in the last session we had some overview of the ORAN. We talked about the origin of Open RAN and we also talked about the standards and bodies who are working towards the evolution of ORAN ecosystem. We talked about the six important pillars of Open RAN as well. Now in this session we will understand the benefits of Open RAN deployment from the perspective of operators and telcos. Before we talk about the benefits of Open RAN ecosystem, let's quickly think about the problems and challenges with the traditional radio access network system. First, I will definitely say that existing RAN systems is highly capex driven. Any telecom network has three major divisions. One is radio access network, second is core network or switch which is like data center and another is transport division which interconnects the radio access network with the core network and the components used in the radio access network systems are one of the high capex contributing part. Hence, evolving the radio access network part will make the good impact on the capex. So with Open RAN, it can help to optimize the capex for the service providers. Same way, we are expecting to have the significant reduction in the operations expenditure too. This is because the ORAN ecosystem also have the goal to develop more and more automations to optimize the network with the help of new features and function development and this will also help deploying the services faster. Traditional RAN systems are vendor locked means operators are bound to use hardware, software, features, everything from the specific providers only. Means upgrade or swap between the ecosystems was a big pain. This gonna be completely flexible with the open RAN ecosystem because of well generalized products. So operators can get the upgrades from the open source and can just implement it into the network without thinking of swapping the hardware etc. Hence the vendor lock-in problem will be solved with the open RAN ecosystem. Because of this no vendor lock-in, operators and telcos will be in the stage to deploy any new features or functions more quickly means time to market will be really fast because now telcos do not need to depend upon a single provider or supplier. They can choose who is solving the requirement in the best way and operators and telcos will be in the stage to negotiate better because now they are not dependent on the single suppliers anymore with this open RAN ecosystem. Another important goal and expectation from the open RAN ecosystem is to add more intelligence in the network with the help of deploying the AI artificial intelligence and machine learning for better and on-time decisions. This will allow network to self-optimize for the future based on the historical data and predictions. So handling and operations will be more smart in the future. Okay, so we talked about some of the benefits of open RAN ecosystems and the goals of open RAN development, but there are certain challenges as well for the telcos and operators which they cannot side off. So one of the biggest challenges for the existing operators and telcos who are serving already and already have the huge infrastructure in place, the big worries to them is the integration with the legacy network because swapping the whole hardware and infrastructure and dumping the existing components is not a wise solution because as I said it was the biggest capex intensive part for telcos. So ideally the open RAN ecosystem should be fine with the legacy network systems and this is really a big challenge. Another problem in the current time is that ORAN is not fully matured in present. It is still new and still in evolving state. So there is a worry for the telcos and operators to invest and deploy in the ORAN ecosystem until the open RAN become more standardized and stable. To make it more generalized and also for supporting ORAN with the legacy network system, it is important to have the proper collaboration between all the vendors and sub-vendors, suppliers, providers, etc. to involve in the development of the open RAN ecosystem so that multi-vendor support can be effective. Connectivity would be another main challenge because disaggregating of nodes in radio access network and disaggregating some functions also between nodes and backend is in the goal of open RAN ecosystem. So there must be a strong solution to stabilize the connectivity and transport for different requirements like applications or functions where the high latency is needed. Another big challenge is with the operations. This is because open RAN will allow multi-vendor components in the infrastructure. 
So in the traditional DAN systems, the complete ecosystem is from one specific supplier like hardwares, softwares, interfaces, features, functions, etc. These all things belong to one specific provider and they own everything. So if network faces any difficulty in any way, then the problem is easy to identify because everything belongs to one supplier and they have their experts to look into the issues and they know their systems from end to end. And for many telcos and operators, these vendors are also taking care of the operations too. So finding the issues and solving them is convenient for operators. But with open an ecosystem, this will definitely change. Because now more than one suppliers need to involve to identify the RCA, root cause of the problems and fixing them. So operations gonna be a little tough with ORAN ecosystem. However, this also can be addressed with the new features and function development to identify the defects and bugs in the components. Another challenge I will say is operational readiness because there are very less people who have proper skill sets for the open RAN. It will not be exactly same as the current industry because we would be needing DevOps engineers for automations and upgrades and likewise many other profiles. In the next session, we will talk about the high-level architecture of traditional network system and we will see a real-life radio access network system. So stay tuned for the updates. If you did not subscribe till now, then please do subscribe to learn and grow community for regular updates. If this video is informative, then please like this video, comment on video and don't forget to share. Thank you for watching.